you will be about as happy as you make up your mind to be. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. Today's audio clip comes to us from our friends over at Memorize Academy. In it, we get some great tips on how to use science to boost your happiness levels instantly and for life. Enjoy. Our personal definitions of happiness might differ, but scientists view happiness as a combination of how satisfied you are with your life and how good you feel on a daily basis. It varies from person to person, but approximately 40% of your happiness is controlled by your thoughts, actions and behaviours. 50% is genetically determined. And 10% is determined by your circumstances. Contrary to popular belief, we get used to our circumstances over time, so they don't play as large a role in our happiness level as we might think. Happiness is a skill you can build with consistent practice. You have the ability to control how fulfilling your life is. Keep in mind that happiness is not about feeling hunky-dory all the time. It's not having all the money you could ever want. It's not about refusing to see the negative stuff in the world. And it's not a final destination either. It's also healthier to have steady levels of moderate happiness over time than spikes of extreme happiness. And your happiness isn't just about you. Happy people are more productive at their study or jobs. They typically have deep relationships with others. They help other people and volunteer more. They're more likely to donate money to charity. And they're more creative problem solvers. You can increase your happiness in the long term by nurturing relationships, having new experiences, helping others, or just by being grateful for what you have. You can get even more happiness out of a good experience by savouring it. Use all your senses. Pay attention to sights, sounds, smells and feelings. Pay attention to the little details of a great experience. Share it with someone else. And linger and dwell on the moment too. Savouring experiences makes us happier, more grateful and more hopeful while reducing levels of stress, guilt and depression. Good experiences strengthen the parts of the brain connected with happiness. Three things that will kill your happiness over time are comparing yourself to others, a lack of close friendships or holding on to resentment. People who've experienced some adversity in life are actually happier than those who've never experienced any. After adversity, once we've got some distance and perspective, making sense of our life's challenges helps us to shape our identities, increase our resilience, cope better with current stresses, and become more optimistic about the future. Feeling connected to a deeper purpose, mission, or direction in life is key for our well-being. People who report having more meaning in their lives are more likely to have stable moods and show sociable behaviour. People of all ages report being happier when they have more meaning in their lives. Different ways people can find more meaning are through a fulfilling career. People who find meaning at work show more motivation and engagement on the job. By raising children. 85% of parents think that their children bring them the most happiness and fulfillment of any relationship. Through spirituality or religion. Studies show that Americans who are spiritual or religious tend to be happier. Besides meaning, it also gives people a built-in social network. And you can also get more meaning by pursuing goals that align with your core values. Goals that include commitment to something outside yourself, such as friends, family or community, and goals that promote life satisfaction. Make time for friends. On days when people spend six to seven hours with friends or family, they're 12 times more likely to report feeling happy rather than stressed. People who work full time experience the most happiness on days when they spend eight to nine hours with friends and family. So make the most of your weekends. Being intentionally grateful is very powerful too. 
Well-known researcher Brene Brown said, In 12 years of research, I have never interviewed a single person with the capacity to really experience joy who does not also actively practice gratitude. In one study, people who wrote down things they were grateful for once a week for six weeks felt happier and less depressed for up to six months. They reported better sleep quality. And they were more likely to engage in healthy behaviors like exercise. Here are five ways to instantly boost your happiness. Spend five minutes doing something to brighten the day of someone you love. Email someone and thank them for something they did for you. Have a meaningful conversation with a good friend. Take 30 seconds to help someone who needs it. Or just savor a memory. Close your eyes and relive the happiest moment of your life. Some other tips are to get into a state of flow by engaging in an activity that's enjoyable, requires a degree of skill, and is just enough of a challenge that you can feel in the zone and lose all sense of time. People who regularly practice mindfulness meditation have increased activity in the left prefrontal cortex, the area of the brain responsible for calm and happiness. And it helps to practice empathy. Take someone else's point of view. When others feel understood, you have a chance to build intimacy and well-being. Remember that happiness is like a skill you can get better at. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time. Let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.